Oh wow, this is the new house manager. I wonder what does it do? Let me press this one, I think it's gonna show the temperature in my house. Yeah, it's right. It shows the temperature by room and shows the time that I can set the temperature at. And I can also set it as a rule so that it happens every day. And this graph apparently shows my personal average gas consumption and compares it to the London average gas consumption. And I can also see it by day, week or month. I wonder, what happens if I change the temperature in the living room to 23 degrees? Okay, now I also want to set the, this temperature, the temperature in the living room at 23 degrees to start from 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Now I want to set it as a rule so that it happens every day. Now I want to compare my personal average gas consumption and the London average gas consumption on a weekly basis. I'm actually consuming less gas than the London average gas consumption. That's great. Now I'm pressing save. Oh, it comes back to the first part. Now I'm checking what I guess is electricity in my house. Oh wow, it shows again the electricity by rooms. It shows how much I'm consuming and how much I'm paying for that consumption and shows it on a daily, weekly and monthly basis. It also gives you recommendations and here it says I, I should switch off lights in room 1 and I should turn off electronic equipment in living room in order to save more energy. Wow, I, I think I should start doing that. Now, what happens if I decide to turn off all the, electronic, all the electricity in the house? I'm pressing all off. Oh wow, it really turns it off. I should press it on again. Oh, I guess that when it was off, the fridge in the kitchen was still on, and probably the Wi Fi connection in the living room was on. Now, I want to check my electricity consumption and compare it to the London average electricity consumption on a weekly basis. Again, I'm still consuming less electricity than the London average consumption. And here, it recommends me to turn off lights in corridor when I'm away of, of home and turn off electronic equipment in living room when, you, when I am away. That probably means the television that I always leave on. I will actually try to do this. Now I'm pressing save and it comes back to the first part of the application. Now I want to check what this does. I'm guessing it's linked with the devices in my house. Yes, I can either choose television on the sound system in my house. Let me check the television. Oh wow! It actually shows the channels that I have I can watch and what's actually playing on those channels. It also what shows all the recordings I do on my television and how much time those recordings actually take for me to see. I can also change the volume of the television and I can set the time to play the recordings and to play the channels. I want to put the Titanic on TV from my recordings. <laughs> I want to set it at 7 o'clock in the afternoon. And now, I also want to put the volume at 22. And now, I should press save so that it happens. It comes back to the first page. 
Now, I also want to put, go back to television, and I want to put BBC One, because I want to watch Friends at 9 o'clock. And I want it to turn on at 9 p.m. With volume at 22. Now I'm going to save it and it's going to go back to the second page. Now I want to check my sound system. Oh wow, this is actually cool. It gives me all the sound system per room, the playlists that I put playing in each room, the actual songs of those playlists and the volume that I want the music to play in each room. Now I want to set the playlist playing in room 1 to be rock. Oh, it pops out a new window. This is actually very cool. These are all the songs that I have in my rock playlist. And I want to put the second song of my playlist, Rolling Stone. Now, the music playing in room 1 is from my rock playlist and it's number 2, Rolling Stones. Now, I'm going to press save so that I go back. I'm on this page again. What should I do to go back to the main page? I'm going to press back. Yeah, I'm actually back to the first page, to the main page. Let me check what this does. Oh, now I have four options. I can check my recipes. I can check what I think is to be a calendar. I can check my shopping list. And I have my email. This is actually very good. Let me check my email. Oh wow, it comes actually my email with my inbox, my sent list. In here, I'm watching an email. What happens if I press add to calendar? Oh, it comes to a calendar and I think I can add it to a special date so I don't forget to do what I want to do. I'm gonna save this for the 14th of March 2013. Wow, this is very cool. The email actually came out on the 14th of March on the site so that I don't forget to do it. I'm gonna press save and see what happens. After pressing save, I came back to the second menu. Now let me check what the calendar shows me. Let me check what I have to do on the 6th of March 2013. I'm adding some details so that I don't forget what I have to do on the 6th of March 2013. I'm pressed again. Now, on the 6th of March 2013, I have this task to do. I'm going to save it, and I guess it's go it goes back to the second menu again. Now, I want to check my recipes. Oh wow, it has a menu of my recipes. For example, I have here a recipe of warm potatoes and green bean salad. And here, I guess that the recipe will come out when I press the dish I want to cook. So I'm pressing warm potatoes and green bean salad. Yeah. 
The dish comes here with the title of the dish I want to cook and the actual recipe comes in here so that I can cook in a comfortable way I guess. Now I want to add a new recipe and when I press add new recipe I guess it's gonna come out with a new page. Here I guess here I can put the title and here I can put the actual recipe. So let me try. Press title. Yeah, I can write down the title of the recipe and I want to write down the recipe of cucumber and avocado sushi. And then I'll write down the actual recipe. Now I'm going to save and see what happens. Oh, cucumber and avocado sushi comes down here as a new item in the recipe list. This is very cool. I'm pressing save to go back to the previous menu. Now I want to check my shopping list. Oh, this is very cool. Now I have a menu that gives me the actual grocery list that I need to buy. And I can also add notes to it. So let me see if I want to write down a list of groceries. I'm writing down the groceries that I need to buy the next time I go to Tesco. Now I'm going to press save to go back to the previous menu. And here again, I need to press back so that I can go to the main menu. Now, I guess this these are the settings of the application. Oh wow, I can set alerts for overconsumption on or off. And I can also set the security in the application with an auto lock every 15 minutes or a passcode and a passcode lock can be on and off. Let me try and set the overconsumption notification on. By setting it on, I'm automatically setting a sound notification and a vibrating notification, but these I can turn on and off as I prefer. Now, as I change the overconsumption notification, I want to save it. Saving it. Now, I want to check the security of my application, so I want to set a passcode lock. So I'm pressing the passcode lock. Oh, I have a little window that allows me to put to enter a new password. So I'm entering a new password. It automatic automatically asks me to re-enter my new password. Now I have a passcode lock. I want to save it. Now that this is saved and the overconsumption notification is on and the passcode lock is on, I guess I finished going through the application. So I'm going to go back to the main menu. And here it is the main menu. This application is really cool. Thank you very much. It was invaluable help.